Theresia Smith, I'm taking Eliquis. It's a blood thinner. It's a great blood thinner. Thank you so much for bringing it up. If aspirin is a blood thinner, it's associated with stroke, should I discontinue Eliquis? No, if you have plaque, you need to be at least on baby aspirin. Now, when would you take baby aspirin versus Eliquis? Baby aspirin for standard folks that have plaque. But somebody like me, I really need to be on Eliquis. Why Eliquis? Because I have paroxysmal atrial fibrillation. Oh my Lord, what are we talking about? Yet a whole new other complicating issue. I never promised that all this stuff was that simple, but it's important, you need to know it. If you have atrial fib, atrial fibrillation is a chaotic beat. It's the most common dysrhythmia of that humans have, heart dysrhythmia. It's very, very common, especially as we get older. I've got a series of videos on this very specific topic on atrial fib and the risk that it, that it creates. Again, five to eight times the risk for stroke that other people would have. Why so much higher? The bottom line is that we don't know for sure, but here's some logic that we do know. Atrial fib causes the atria, two of the four important chambers of the heart, instead of beating regularly regularly they beat chaotically and if they don't beat like this you never get the blood completely out of, of the atria that's the problem with atrial fib and what has been discovered is baby aspirin decreases risk of stroke from atrial fib a little bit but not very much eloquis what we call the oral anticoagulants oacs it's another term you'll hear noax new or novel oral anticoagulants Rivaroxaban, Xarelto, Eliquis. These things, if you went back and looked at these and compared those to baby aspirin, especially for somebody with atrial fib, which is a lot of people, the risk benefit from those would be far higher for aspirin. And then you start looking at other folks and it's competitive with baby aspirin anyway, because these are very good medications. So why isn't everybody taking them? They're very expensive. The added expense on those is just not worth it when you start comparing non-atrial fib related stroke risk.